up, y'all? This is your boy, Super Baba Samson. Super Baba Gang, stand up. Yo, check this. In today's video, I'm so excited because a lot of my young barbers who I mentor, they've been asking me, hey, Samson, I'm tired of making uh, not enough money to get me to the next level. How can I get to the next level? So I have three steps I put them together for you. Things that I've done proven to change your financial status, change your financial life. If you want to not just hear it, but apply it and do it and watch what I tell you, pockets are going to get fatter. You, it's going to, it's going to help you get to the next level. It's going to, it's going to grow you. It's going to put you in a whole nother tax bracket. If you ready for that, just sit tight. It's not a long video because what I need to tell you is just going to just blow your mind. I promise you. Get ready. Let's go. Ah. Let's go. Hey, this is Dr. A. Um, I found Samson on Yelp, I think. Yes. So we've been looking for someone that can really do the boys' hair. You know, I have three boys and a husband, so that's four boys. It's always hard to find someone that can really do something nice for them. And then we went on Google. Google took us to Yelp. We found Samson, and we were so much in love with him. We ain't going nowhere, Samson. It's your boy Samson with another video. Hey, check this out. So I really want to talk to you guys about how to make more money, extending your growth, get out of the old pattern that you was actually in before. If you was in a pattern of just cutting hair, getting the customers in and out, well, that's been done since the beginning of time, since the beginning of time, barbers from the very first barber up until now, the average barber shop was that was the, the social hangout place. That was a place where barbers, uh, where, where people went to go and tell their problems to barbers. Well, it's sort of kind of still that place. My clients share private information with me that I would never share with anyone else. But they have something that they have with me called trust, right? And because I trust, but because my clients trust me, I can literally not just get them to trust me, but I can take their hair experience to a whole nother level by simply applying rules. So I, by me taking care of them, giving them my value, um, and return them taking care of me. And so this is not something that that's new, but this is probably something that uh, a lot of you barbers haven't done in your barbering career so far. Now, I don't care if you're a new barber just got out of barber school. I don't care if you've been a barber for 10, 15, 20 years. I've been cutting hair literally since 1987. I'm not going to tell you my age but it's been over 30 years. So let's kick it off. The first one is transforming your monthly and bi-weekly clients to become weekly clients. Now, there was a keyword that I mentioned earlier and that's called trust. Now, how can you, and, and, and let's just give an example, just a quick example. If you take, I don't know how many clients you have in your booking. I'm not, you know, people say I have hundreds of clients. Well, the only way to really tell how many clients you have is go back into your booking and not repeating those same clients and write down and number your clients, put it in the Rolodex or put it in your iPad, your iPhone, whatever, or into your Android, right? And literally go into your Rolodex and find those clients. And let's say, for example, if you have a hundred clients and, and probably 90% of them don't come every week. Okay. But if you can get all of your clients, to come weekly. How do you do that? By simply just telling them, hey, listen, I, I know you like the way you look, but listen, I can extend my services to you by coming in next week and I won't charge you the same price, but I can shape you up for 20 or 25 bucks, right? If you do the numbers on that for each one of your, one of your clients, you can literally boost. And I have another video coming up soon about how I did this. But you can literally boost your income by $60,000 and greater and more. 
just by simply doing that. Okay? Now hear me, getting them to trust you, that means you have to get some sharp haircuts and do what you need to do. All right? Now, before I go any further, I got to jump into number two because I told you it's going to be a quick video. All right? Y'all ready? Number two, extend your services. Now, Samson, how can I extend my services? You can simply extend your services knowing how to treat your clients. Like, if you only know barbering, guess what? You can't extend your services. Like, if you don't, if you don't know what it is to give a good facial, right? Not just a good facial. There's so many things you could do to uh, uh, extend your service. You may see me in a video doing micropigmentation. If you don't know what micropigmentation is, look it up. Uh, I do uh, facials, micropigmentations. I do um, designs. I've learned how to do designs. I used to be a graffiti artist, but I've taught barbers how to become great de uh, uh, hair designers by using tracing paper and learning how to use the pen, creating a, a, a environment for motor skills, learning how to use that pen and arch like you're using a pencil, using your clippers, how to arch. And and so it, by extending your services, you could do simply something as simple as, hey, listen, I'm going to, hey, when the last time you had a face you? Nine times out of 10, they're going to say, I never had a face you. Would you like to add that to your services monthly, right? So extend your services, do what you got to do. Eyebrows, not just eyebrows, designs, facials, micropigmentation, all those things. Hair units, you could do whatever you want to do. All right, y'all ready? Y'all ready for this? Number three, <clears throat> drum roll please. Number three is raising prices ASAP. Barbers I know, I see fear in their eyes when they're talking about raising prices. When they say raising prices, they say, oh my God, raising prices. Why would I do that? Why would I want to do that? And that's why I saved this one for last. Because when, when we talk about raising prices, people get so darn scared that they, I see fear in their eyes when we're talking about raising prices. And the crazy thing is prices have been the same or haven't really been on the same scale when it comes to inflation. So I raise my prices yearly and I'm consistent with that, whether it's $2, $5, $10, $20, $50, right? But within that year, I'm showing my client my worth by not just raising my prices, I'm showing my client my worth by giving him extra services, right? And so most of the time my client said, wow, what made you do that? What made you, what made you put the hot towel on? What made you put an extra hot towel on? What made you um, uh, put uh, that stuff you put on the face, the facial mask? My clients ask those questions and I say, oh man, I'm just doing something different, trying things out. How you like it? Man, I, I need to keep on doing that. And for that moment, I won't charge my client because he's already up on the new prices. So I'll do that to him for uh, uh, the rest of the year. But then what's so amazing about it is that <clears throat> when it's time for him to change, when it's time for me to change the prices, and if I'm questioned they about hair up so much and moisturize why the prices are going up, I said, because I'm doing added services. We're, we're and it's okay we're, 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 if they we're, 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 literally just say, oh, I can't pay that. And I said, all right, no problem. I said, but these are my prices. And guess what? You will lose some clients, but it makes room for clients to step in those slots where the people that you lose. Will you lose all of them? No. Will you lose a percentage of them? Yes, guaranteed, right? But they're gonna stick with you because they're gonna go back to another barber by that time. Remember I told you before, you're gonna build their trust they're going to want to come to you. They've been coming to you weekly, right? And you're like almost 100% that the other barber, maybe next to you or in the next shop, they don't do what you do. Because that other barber, he's thinking, he's not thinking like you. And he's thinking of, let me get him in and out. That client is going to come probably probably come back and sit in your chair and pay the extra five dollars, extra five dollars or extra ten dollars or extra twenty dollars, whatever the prices you went up on, because you have given them the services that they literally asked for.
I promise you, this is good. This is a life changing experience for you. I promise you, you're going to love it. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to raise your income. If you was making $40,000, you can instantly make a hundred thousand dollars just like that. All right. This is your boy, Super Barber. Stay tuned. More videos to come. I'm going to go in details on how I raise my income, an extra $3,500 per month. $35,000 to $5,000 per month, cutting the same client's hair. All right? Peace. Holla at your boy. Ah. Let's go!